Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking about the modulo operation. Uh, so the modulo operation is an important um, math operator that returns the remainder after a division. So for example, 10 divided by 6 in JavaScript will return uh, 1.666. Uh, so if we want, so 6 goes into 10 once and then we get a remainder of 4. So if we actually wanted this remainder, we would use the mod operator, which in JavaScript is the percentage sign. So 10 mod 6 should return 4, uh, and there it does. So you might be asking, what are some useful things you can actually do with the mod operator? Uh, so for this challenge, time convert, you actually want to convert um, a number which represents the number of minutes, and you want to convert it to hours and minutes. So for example, 63 is 1 hour and 3 minutes. So if you were given the number 63, how can you convert this to 1 and 3? 1 representing an hour and 3 representing minutes. So you can do this the following way. So if you have a number, there and or we'll do time equals 63. So to get the number of hours, you could just divide by 60. So dividing by 60, so 63 represents the number of minutes. So if you divide by 60 minutes, you'll get the number of hours. So hours equals time divided by 60 and we return time so you actually get you might get a decimal so what you want to do in JavaScript to, to be safe is um, round it uh, down so math dot floor so you can round but we don't actually want to round to the nearest uh, whole number we're using the floor function which will round it down so if you have something like 6.5, it'll round it down to 6. If you have 6.9, it'll round it down to 6. And the opposite function of the opposite function of the floor is the ceiling, which will round it up. So in this case, we want to round down when we divide by 60. And then for minutes, you want to take time and you want to mod 60. So what this does is it when you divide by 60, you get the remainder, which in this case would be 3. So it's 3 minutes. So now you can return hours, concatenate it with the semicolon, the colon, and minutes. So now we get 1, 3. So now let's try for one of these numbers. So 126. So if enter 126, we get 2, 6. So this is one useful... Um, example of how you can use the mod operator. Uh, another example is to determine if a number is odd or even. So for example, we had a number 105. And if you want to determine this number, if, it, if this number is even or odd. So to determine if a number is even, you could just uh, see check if it divides, if it's divisible by 2. So num divided by 2 in this case returns us 52.5 so if it's not a whole number then we know it's not um, then we know it's not an even number so to check this you can actually do if num mod 2 so 105 divided by 2 and then return the remainder in this case 1 so 2 goes into 105 some number of times and then we're left with a remainder of 1 so We'll do a, we'll write a function for this is even so we're passing in some number and then if num mod 2 is greater than 0 so then we'll return false so basically if there's a remainder after you divide by 2 then you know it's not an even number so now is even will pass in 105. So is even 105, we get false. And now if we pass in something like 4, we get nothing. So what we can do here is write an else statement and return true. So we're returning false or true. So is even 4 and we get true. So this is another example of how you can use the mod operator uh, to check if a number is even or odd.